Okay, uh, hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Simon. And I'm Cynthia. And uh, today is not a podcast, it's a new type of video. So, yeah, to the start, today we're just doing a new type of video for... Um, for YouTube. For YouTube. It's a draw with me and we'll be talking or not talking and just drawing. Um, so, if yeah. you want to draw with us uh, while you journal or something... And Take your notebook, you get your, your pen notebook. and pencils, yeah. your paint, everything. We're not sure how long this is going to be since this is our first time. Yeah. But uh, hopefully it's good. <laughs> Should yeah. be good. And we have our... I have Shikre and Simon too, but mine has almond milk and his has milk. Regular milk. That's why it looks different, but it's the same drink. Yeah. And that's okay. fruitcake. Fruitcake <laughs> for madame. Okay, so uh, let's go. Yeah. It's funny because uh, so it's a new type of video and I feel like uh, we are always doing new types of video. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, I don't think we found our video style yet, so I don't know. I, I, no. I'm not good at doing videos. I think it's and just uh, this yeah, content we, stuff, so I'm not never sure. So, yeah, yeah, we are not that consistent, and we keep trying stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, I think you know we st still have to uh, try until we find more things. Yeah. And uh, well, we'll see. Yeah. Let's see. So what are you going to do? So me, I'm actually going to continue these illustrations that I started like a week ago with mm -hmm. sketching and everything. Um, I hopefully if these are all good, I will want to make them into stickers and um, so I'm currently, well, none of them are really complete except for maybe this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know uh, wh what uh, the topic is? Um, this one's a bit summer theme, mm -hmm. so with the seashell olive branch, like a basket of fruits, um, yeah, so. Okay. So it's like, yeah, it's about summer. Yeah. Okay. And me, uh, to be honest, I don't really know exactly yet what I'm going to do. I just know that uh, I used to draw before more often, and I want to get back to it. Get back to it. Um, but you know, it's like me, what I would like to do is to do kind of illustrations because I always had that uh, thing in mind, trying yeah. to uh, you know to draw. Yeah. And I think so um, to do that kind of video is maybe it's a good opportunity for me to at least try and it's practice time. Yeah, to practice. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. I have no idea what's going to uh, be the result for yeah. for me, but uh, we'll try. Because I know I have to find my uh, color palette and uh, and the stuff like that. Well, I think that just comes with time and practice. Yeah. Um, well, maybe if you're looking and you're like, what is this weird thing she's holding? Well, this is my paintbrush. <laughs> Yeah. And I might take it off because actually um, I was cleaning the brush and it's all wet now. <laughs> or maybe I'll leave it, I don't know. But it's it's because the um, paintbrushes are too thin and they're not comfortable. Like this one is actually fine here. But I need to find new paintbrushes that are comfortable to hold because they're Do not you think comfortable. This one is still uh, too thin or it's a piece No, of it's, it's fine when I hold it here. Okay. But uh, this is like, you know, I no, think. Because this I is way bigger than this though. Yeah, but I usually just do it here. Okay. I do this. Um, okay. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll try to find something. Or if uh, anyone uh, know a good. Uh, yeah. A good brush pen. Brush pen, I mean, uh, a brush. A, uh, a brand where the yeah. handle is a bit thicker or wider to hold, it'll be nice. So when you draw, do you like use reference photos? Me? Yeah, you or whoever is <laughs> gonna <laughs> watch and yeah. listening. Uh, me, yeah, I need to anyway. Yeah. Um, I would like to be able to draw without any reference. But well, some things uh, you do. I remember I used to do some drawings, like these like cartoony drawings, and you just draw them from your imagination. Oh yeah, but it's uh, it's like it's quick. Okay. I mean, I, I don't expect to have uh, to make it, uh, you know, uh, exceptional. Okay. So I just do, uh, yeah, when it's like that, it's, it's for fun. fun. Yeah, it's for fun, so uh, yeah. it, it's cool, but it's not what, uh, what I really want to do. <laughs> I don't know if you explain that. Yeah. 
And I usually um, always use a reference photo. But um, I've noticed I've gotten much better at drawing since I've been drawing a bit more regularly and often. Yeah. Yeah, like um, when I look back at my first journals, I'm like, wow. <laughs> What I do mean, you think? Uh, oh, sorry, continue. No, I mean, like, I've always drawn, but I mean, since I've been doing it more regularly, I do see the progress. Yeah. And especially in my coloring, because my coloring was, like, the hard part. So, do you think it's the fact to draw uh, every day that helps a lot? Yeah, I think it's because of the daily practice. And, um, you know, so I do a bit every day, or, or not every day, but, you know, more regularly at least. Yeah, more several times a week. Yeah. So you would advise that to people who want to uh, yeah. to develop their skills in drawing, to draw like... Uh, I would say to just practice a bit, like when you have free time, you're feeling inspired to just draw things that you like, simple things, not big projects, because then you're not going to want to finish them, but just little things. Yeah, so it needs to still be uh, fun. Yeah. Okay, well, let that dry for now. What does that look like to you guys, everybody? Right now it doesn't look like much, but it's a hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a hat. It's still in the flat. Yeah, I don't know if they can see because it's oh, very yeah. light also. It's true, yeah. let's see. But be careful because it's going to be Oh, like oh yeah, dirt. last time I got my bookmarks dirty, but I washed them and they're clean. So it's this, it's a little hat. And these are my other illustrations. They're still in. Progress. Except this one. I like it. So as you can see, we're not uh, professional wow, painters. Wow, yeah. I think while we paint, we don't really know what we're doing and we just kind of like hope for the best. Yeah, well, speak, yeah. I know it's what I do sometimes. Like I don't really, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I try to just do the just shade where I see that's supposed to go and um, just hope that it, it looks good. I don't know, I'm, I'm not very comfortable with brushes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm because I have to do it delicately, delicately. Delicately. Yeah, because um, before I was just drawing with pencils, and pencils are different. You know, once you can control the graphite and you hold it, and uh, you yes. know you yes, the tip true. is hard, and it's just it's different while the brush is different. So yeah. that's what I'm comfortable with, well, and I can control yeah. the shading way easier, and I can erase it and. Um, this paint, it's it's different. It's not the same, and plus it's colors, and um, so it's <laughs> just different. For me, I know it just uh, I actually didn't think of the color. Oh. <laughs> I know I wanted to do a raccoon kind of, but uh, I wasn't even thinking of how I wanted to color my raccoon.
So these lines are really hard to draw because this towel is really folded and I'm not really sure where to put the lines. It's just because uh, it's like really folded, the towel. I mean, I know I don't have to do it exactly, yeah. but um, if I want the fold and the lines to kind of match, I at least want to do a, a, an okay job. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to add his moustache. I don't want to mess up, so I'm not sure if I should tell it already or do that on the Procreate. Okay, I go anyway, it's practice, I said. Why is that working? It's the new one, no? Yes. It's the new one. It should work. Unless it's already dry. I feel like they last, they don't really last too long. I feel like they dry out really fast. Is that, uh, what's it's wrong not working? It's yeah. a new one? Yeah, it should be the new one. I took it oh, yeah, that's true. And I don't know. I know what I can use. The curlograph? Yes. Why? Well, do you think I can remove that? I think I can. Yeah. Well, I, well, I will go over well, it. Well, you can go over it so you won't even see it, especially because the tip is very thick. Okay. <coughs> Did we use this one already before? No, we never tried this one. I know, I didn't try it. I thought you tried it. No, you tried the yellow and the other one. Okay, take. Is it coming out? Yes, but it's like uh, transparent. Mm. Well, I, I did. I think it's coming. It's coming? I mean, it takes a while to get uh, opaque. I just ruined my drawing. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I can cover that. There's if it doesn't one work, uh, yeah. He shaved. <laughs> it doesn't work. Is it blobbing? Yes. Oh, that's weird. It's watery. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not weird. even thick. It's, it's well. Try it on these uh, color pencils. You know where it's more color to see if it works. No. Uh, no, I don't see anything. Uh, yeah, yes, a bit. Okay. I'll try like a line because that's what we're going to be doing, right? A line to see if it works. Yes, yes, yes. Which means things. White. Is it a good one I use? Yeah, yeah it's, it's white. white. Maybe because the paper is not, uh, it's like off white, so maybe that's why it looks brown, like gray. Do you want to try it on? Well, don't try it directly in. Maybe um, color. Be. Do a, do a square here with color pencil or whatever and then do lines of that on top and see if it looks white. Okay. Oh, well it works, it's white. Okay. <laughs> it's on my hand. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's like that. That's weird. Maybe it only works with uh, acrylic on acrylic. Oh yeah, acrylograph with its own. Try uh... Bon. I know what I use, I should get the luminance. <laughs> no, but those only work with its own too. But yeah, but if we have only luminance. Those are expensive though. Mm. I don't know if you guys know the luminance. From Caron Dash, it's... Uh, Caron Dash, the color pencils they're very mm -hmm. expensive but 
the white goes over the colors, which is really nice. It's like the tip slips. Uh, the tip slips or anything. The lips. <laughs> the tip <laughs> seems cre uh, like creamy. Oh yeah, it's they're creamy. It's kind of like a waxy, no? I have no idea, but they're nice. So okay, I have to wait at it. Uh, okay. Or if I can't do it, uh, I will try a bit with that. And if I can't, well, um, I will just do it on Procreate. I will take a photo of my raccoon and uh, finish it on Procreate. Yes, yeah, like it's working on that. You see? Oh yeah, but it's still not that white though. Yeah. And it's not working on the bomb. Okay, so okay. too bad for me. I think I got my lines. I don't know if you can see. It took me a while, but I think they're that's what they are. Maybe sometimes I feel like I'm maybe too much of a perfectionist with my drawings. You want it too perfect? Uh, yeah, I think I do sometimes and um, I try not to, like to be, you know, less perfect yeah. and, you know, precise and everything. So it's something that I kind of want to work on to just kind of just let it go. I think it's a bit hard at the beginning because you, it's like when you draw, you you want something like perfect. It's yeah. Like you know you have something in mind and you want to, to make it perfect, but actually it's all the little mistake that can make it more unique. Mm, yeah. I guess. Well, that's why you like on this one because uh, I'm like you. Uh, it's like I want everything perfect, but I notice when you when I try that, uh, the result I get is not what I have in mind because actually what I have in mind is it's actually not that perfect. Yeah, maybe you'll be less disappointed yeah, if it's know. not perfect by just kind of painting and going with it. I should make his moustache a tiny bit bigger and longer. And I think I'll be done with mine. You'll be done with yours? Actually, I, I did pretty good on mine. I mean, um, yeah. there's little details to do, but um, I'm mm. glad with what I did. Up, so this is very good. I hope you like it. I think it's colorful. <laughs> that means that uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't really like it. No, I think it's <laughs> nice. I mean, I know I can't draw animals, and I I think if I tried, it wouldn't come out like this. No, I know. Yeah, animals are not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but I think it looks cool. So, he um, looks like less angry. He looks like he's just. He's like, a bit better now. Stop. Yeah. He's surprised. He's surprised. And uh, so this was done on the Reverie Journal. Watercolor paper, as you know. Yeah. Mine's the same. Yep. <laughs> so I'm not done, but um, I like it so far. It's a towel. Bathing suit and hats. Yeah. Cool. This is going to be one drawing, right? Yeah, it's one drawing. Hmm. Yeah. It will go with the rest? Uh, yes. I was thinking of doing it with the rest or postcards. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let, us, let me know if you guys think I should do a, like an art print or a little postcard or, or something a special or a sticker by its own. No, I don't know about a sticker by its own. I'm not sure. But okay. We'll see. I'm still figuring that out. Okay, so I think we can stop the video here. Yeah, hopefully. Well, actually, we didn't talk too much, so I'm not sure if we were good. I feel like we weren't really including you guys in our conversation. Well, we're not really used to... Uh, we are still uh, trying to find our style. Yeah, and anyway, I mean, we're not used to an audience, but uh, maybe if we do another one, it'll be better. Um, but uh, thank you if you're watching and if you have any questions or anything, you can just let us know if it was too long, if you want it longer. If you want more uh, <laughs> talking, if you have any, because uh, I'm thinking we can uh, talk about the other subject at the same time as we draw. Yeah. I yes. don't know if I'll really be able to, you know, to focus on two things at the same time. Because oh, yeah. for me it's kind of hard to... Uh, yeah. to talk and draw at the same time. Yeah, I think it's just sometimes when, when you, you draw, maybe if you draw too, you kind of just get lost in your 
thoughts and your what you're creating and you mm-hmm. kind of just forget like the outside world sometimes and you're just you know you're just focused yep. on what you're doing and well maybe some some people are good at you know talking and doing something else and and drawing at the same time but me I usually just focus on what I'm doing mm-hmm. and then I don't even notice when the time goes by and I'm surprised I'm like oh wow that was like two hours or an hour yeah so anyway right now we're going to stop the video because we have some uh, little orders to prepare anyway yeah. and uh, well I hope you enjoyed drawing with us and yeah. uh, I will say see you next time. Yeah, thank you. Bye.